Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here is your latest integral of the day. We have the indefinite integral of tangent squared x over 1 plus secant squared x dx. If you want to pause the video, try it on your own. My baby hint is first, I played around with it so I could do a u sub and then used other integration techniques from there. So, like I mentioned, I want to try to use a u sub. And the thing that's screaming at me is the fact that there's tangents and secant squared. And I know the derivative of tangent is secant squared x. So I'm kind of hoping, can I somehow let u be tangent x and then du would be, that's right, secant squared x dx. That's kind of where my mind's going. Because the way it's written right now, I can't really like play around with my identities. So I would need a secant squared x in the numerator with this dx. And I did try rewriting tan squared x using my Pythagorean identities, but that didn't help out any. So instead, what we're going to do first is multiply numerator and denominator by secant squared x to make our math dreams come true. So here we're going to have integral tan squared x, secant squared x dx, over, and then I'm going to have 1 plus secant squared x, and then another secant squared x. Now this one I'm going to put on reserve. That's going to all be absorbed and become du once I make my u sub. However, I need everybody else to be written in terms of tangent if u is going to be tangent x. This has to be rewritten in terms of tangent, so does this. So then let's think back to our Pythagorean identities. We know that tangent squared x plus 1 is secant squared x. So I'm going to replace all the secant squared x's with tan squared x plus 1. All right, hop to it. So this numerator, tan squared x is perfect. And then secant squared x dx is right there. And then downstairs I have 1 plus, instead of secant squared x, I'm going to write tan squared x plus 1. And then I have another secant squared x down there, which is another tan squared x plus 1. Okay, beautiful. Now we're ready for our u sub. So the numerator is going to become u squared du. Are we good? Perfect. Downstairs, 1 plus tan squared x plus 1 is going to be 2 plus u squared. And then the other term is going to be u squared plus 1. How are we? Fabulous. Okay, so now I'm looking. My integrand has become basically a rational function, and it's already bottom heavy. Degree of the denominator is higher than the degree of the numerator. Let me go ahead and see if I can find the partial fraction decomposition and integrate from there. So it's partial fraction time. The denominator is already fully factored over real numbers. So we have u squared over, let me rewrite it as u squared plus 2 u squared plus 1. Those are my two irreducible quadratic factors. That means for my decomposition, the numerator would have the form au plus b, and I'll put one of those factors, plus cu plus d, and we'll put the other factor. Good? Okay, now to solve for the constants a, b, c, d, I'm going to multiply through by the LCD, which is u squared plus 2, and u squared plus 1. So now let's see. We'll have u squared over here equals au plus b times u squared plus 1 plus cu plus d times u squared plus 2. Fab. And then FOIL everything out. So u squared equals au cubed plus au plus bu squared plus b plus cu cubed plus 2cu plus du squared plus 2. Yay. Now to solve for a, b, c, and d, we're going to equate the coefficients of like terms from both sides of the equation. So the highest power of u that I see is u to the third. There are no u cubes on the left-hand side, but there's a u cubed and c u cubed on the right. So 0 must equal a plus c. Moving on to u squared. 
there is one u squared on the left and then I have b u squared and d u squared on the right. So one must equal b plus d. u to the first, I don't see any on the left. And there is, let's see, a u and two c on the right. So zero equals a plus two c. And then lastly, u to the zero or your constant. There aren't any constants on the left. And then I think you can see who's left over. We've got b plus, oh, where'd my d go? Did it get erased? 2d, I might have accidentally erased it. So zero equals b plus 2d. Okay, it's not really as bad as it looks because we have two systems of two equations. See, I have two equations with only a and c and two equations with only b and d. If you number them, say this is one, two, three, four. I'm gonna take equation three and subtract from it equation one because then a will cancel out. And then I end up with zero equals c. And then back into equation one, if c is zero, then a is zero. And for a moment when I did this, I got a little nervous. I thought perhaps I've done something wrong, but no, everything's great. Then we're gonna move on. Let's work with just equations two and four. Similarly, let me take four minus two, and then b will cancel out. And then I have negative one is equal to d. And then if d is negative one, just go back to equation two, b is going to be positive too. So that's it. Everybody else is zero. A and c are zero, which makes for actually a really nice integration problem. Ooh. Okay, so let's go back to our integral. So we have now that I have found the decomposition, b is two. So I just have a constant two over u squared plus two minus d was one over u squared plus one du. Okay. Now, hopefully you recognize the antiderivatives for both of the terms that remain and it won't take much work from here. If not, let me remind you. So recall, if you have the integral of one over x squared plus a squared dx, it's one over a tan inverse x over a plus c. So when the constant in the denominator is not a one, it's totally fine. You don't need to start busting out the trig sub and you know reinventing everything. This is just an antiderivative you should put to memory. You have one over a, so the square root of that constant out front, and then tan inverse of x over a. So the argument also gets divided by a. So looking over here, I can see since I have two, that means a is radical two. Good? Okay, perfect. So then we can just proceed. And then what about this two in the numerator? Well, it just comes along for the ride. So two stays there. I'm gonna have one over a or one over rad two out front. Then we have tan inverse of u over a, so u over rad two minus, and then now this second one is just straightforward. That's just gonna be tan inverse of u plus c for the whole problem, good? Okay, now let's clean up. Remember, we made that substitution originally that u was tangent of x, and then two divided by rad two just becomes rad two. Remember, two is rad two times rad two. So if I have it divided by rad two, you don't need to go re-rationalize, you just go, oop, cancel, cancel, uh-huh. And then I have tan inverse of u was tangent of x over rad two, and then I have minus tan inverse of, again, tangent of x plus c. Now I can simplify just a wee bit more, tan inverse of tangent of x, that'll just simplify to x. I can't simplify here though, because this argument is being divided by rad two. So this term's done. I wouldn't rationalize, it doesn't look any better if you do, so we're just gonna leave it. Two tan inverse 
of tan x over rad 2 minus x plus c. And that is it, folks. That concludes your integral of the day. How did you like it? Did you solve it differently? I also thought in the beginning, maybe just to multiply everybody by cosine squared x and go back to rewriting the integrand in terms of sines and cosines and not deal with tangent and secant. And I think it'll work the same way. You do, you're just going to do a u sub, but with different trig functions and then probably partial fractions after. So I think algorithmically it would be the same solution process. But let me know if you did something different. I love reading your comments. And thank you guys so much for your support. If you need to review your integration techniques, then go to the videos in the description or check out the Calculus 2 video lectures playlist. I'll be back sooner than later. Please follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Math with Professor V. Did I say thumbs up and subscribe? You guys know what to do. I love you all so much. Thanks. Bye.